objective. Calculate the slope of a line if you're given a graph or two coordinate pairs. Um, so the definition of slope. Slope is a number that describes the steepness of a line. It is an example of rate of change. Slope, in any sense, is the vertical change over the horizontal change. It's also denoted as m and can be described as y over x. If you have the graph of a line and you want to know the slope, use rise over run. So say I have this graph. I have two points, negative 1, 1, and 4, 3. Slope, again, is rise over run. So from this point to get to this point, I have to go up two units. That's my rise. And I have to go to the right five units. So that's going to be, when we go to the right, that's going to be a positive 5. So my slope is 2 fifths. Take a look at this example. It's a bit different. It's going the other way. So it's decreasing. And you have the point negative 1, 5, and 4, 2. Here, I, I go up 3. So that's my rise, up 3. But this time, I go to the left instead of the right. So that's going to be a negative 5 units. So my slope would be negative 3 fifths. When I have a negative slope, I will have a decreasing line. When I have a positive slope, I'll have an increasing line. So if you have two coordinate points and you want to find the slope, the algebraic formula for finding slope is y2 minus y1, again that's the change in y, over x2 minus x1, so the change in x. Now, x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 are coordinate points such that y2 minus y1 is not 0. Example, find the slope. Say we have the point a, negative 2, 1, and the point b, 5, 7. Again, we're going to do y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. So, what we need to make sure that we do is to be consistent with our points. So if we choose to do 7 minus 1, then we're saying this is y1, y2, and this is y1, and this is x2, and this is x1. So then we need to do 7 minus 1, then we also have, we have to do 5 minus a negative 2. A negative minus a positive is a positive. So 5 minus a negative 2 is 5 plus 2. So that equals 7. So our slope would be 6 over 7 here. Example number 2. We have the point 0, negative 1, and 1, 6. So again, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This time I chose to start with negative 1. So that makes this my y2. And this my y1. That makes this my x2 and this my x1. So if I do negative 1 minus 6, excuse me, this should just be minus 6. And if I do, that means I have to do 0 minus 1. So I have 1 minus 6. Well, maybe this should be negative, actually. So 1 minus a negative 6 makes that, turns that into a positive. So you have 1 plus 6, that's 5 and then 0 minus 1, that's going to be negative 1. So my slope is negative 5. What if we're given the slope and actually need to find x or y? So say I have the point 2, 4, and x, 8, and they tell me that the slope is negative 2. In a sense, we're kind of working backwards because we're given the slope already. We're simply going to use the formula slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that means our negative 2, that's our slope, equals y2, so I chose to do 8 minus 4, so that makes this my y2 and this my y1, that makes this my x2 and this my x1. So if I do 8 minus 4, I have to do x minus 2. So then from there, 
we use a shortcut called cross multiplication and do 1 times x8 minus 4 equals negative 2 times x minus 2. So from there we distribute 8 minus 4 is just 4, so 4 times 1 is 4 equals negative 2 times x and negative 2 times negative 2, which is negative 2x plus 4. From there we subtract 4 from both sides, 4 minus 4 is 0, so 0 equals negative 2x. If we divide both sides by negative 2, then x equals 0. So that means this point is 0, 8. Here we have the point negative 4y and the point 2, 4y. Slope is equal to 6, so we do the same thing using the same formula. Slope equals y2 minus y1 and over x2 minus x1. So 6 equals 4y minus y over 2 minus a negative 4. So again, we cross multiply 4y minus y on this side and then 6 times 2. Remember, 2 minus a negative 4 is just 2 plus 4. So 6 times 2 plus 6, which is 6 times 6, to give us 36. And then 4y minus y is just 3y. So we're left with 3y minus 36. To get y by itself, we need to divide both sides by 3. So 36 divided by 3, y equals 12. All right? So in summary, we know how to find x and y given the slope. We know how to um, use uh, two ordered pairs to find the slope and then use a graph to find the slope to do rise over run.